How many Russian Su-34s were destroyed during the war? Expert assessment. Military political observer of the Information Resistance Group of Ukraine, Alexander Kovalenko, says that for the occupiers, 2024 began with serious losses in aviation. The Ukrainian sky is becoming even more dangerous for Russian aircraft. During the entire period of the full-scale war in Ukraine, the Russian Air Force lost 25 Su-34 front-line sub-fighter bombers. The last verification of losses is dated December the 22nd, 2023. According to unverified data, the Russian Air Force lost more than 50 Su-34 in two years. The publication Facts quotes him as saying, it is noted that before the full-scale invasion of Ukraine, Russia had 110 units of these aircraft in service. At the same time, less than 100 Su-34s were combat ready. However, the enemy continues to produce them in the future. We are talking about 10 to 12 aircraft per year, about one per month. If the Russian Federation loses two to three Su-34s per month, then it will be impossible to compensate for their losses with production and the total number will go into the negative, Kovalenko explained. According to the expert, 2024 will be the year of ousting Russian aviation from the Ukrainian skies. This will be facilitated in particular by the arrival of F-16 fighters. According to official data from the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, since the beginning of the full-scale invasion, the Russian Federation has lost 355 aircraft and another 326 helicopters. It is noteworthy that in recent days, the Ukrainian military has been increasingly landing enemy Su-25s. Military expert and instructor pilot Roman Svitan explained that the Su-25 is the main tactical attack aircraft that has been operating for a long time, about 40 years. According to him, Ukraine has some man pads and air defense systems that can reach the Su-25 at extremely low altitudes over long distances. Two people were hurt after gunfire erupted at a high school graduation ceremony in Oakland, California. Oakland Police Robert Trevino said officers responded to Skyline High School after reports of a shooting inside the school while graduation was underway. When officers arrived at the school, two victims, a man and a woman, were found to be suffering from gunshot wounds. Trevino did not give ages, but said both victims are adults. They were both transported to the hospital by ambulance and were reportedly in stable condition. A witness who identified himself only as Larry told the Chronicle that he was at a parking lot across from the school when he heard multiple gunshots then saw throngs of people running. A video posted to social media showed a woman at the scene talking about what she saw and heard, I was waiting for my daughter. She was here to see the graduation for her two best friends and we just heard two bangs. I saw people running. I told my husband, I don't think those were fireworks. As I saw people running and the vendors leaving, the first thing that came to my mind was I got to go get my little girl. A high school graduation to end like this is horrible. Authorities are investigating reports that a dispute preceded the shooting but have so far not disclosed a motive or what the potential dispute could have been about. Police say that this appears to be an isolated incident and that there are multiple suspects but have not yet released the identities of those who are suspected to be involved. Skyline High School was placed on lockdown immediately following the incident but that was lifted shortly after the incident took place.